Visco. Hi everyone, welcome to Visco. So in this video, I'm going to show how to use this heat central floor sign to edit and display out the images to the digital center box. So actually, what is heat central floor sign? So heat central floor sign actually is the software platform that integrates the program design and also release the processors with centralized device management for the digital signage terminal. So for this hit central for sign, you able to be create the multimedia collection and in order to be display out the multimedia to the digital signage box and to the screen. Okay, so firstly, we can add the digital signage box inside this hit central for sign. So we can go for device and under this device and server, so we can click on the add button and then we can start in with the device IP address and the device name so whichever you are able to set up and username will be admin password will be the device password alright and then you scroll it down under this resource information the area you will need to create an area by the device name so you can be clicking this option and then you can click on the add button alright so here after I try to refresh it so here we'll be saying the uh, device name and device address, serial number as well as the version and the network status is online. Okay, so once you have added the digital signage box under this heat center for sign, so next you will need to be correct the material and upload the material to the to this heat center for sign. So you can click on this digital signage and then go for this material libraries. And then over here, you can see all of your materials inside this library. So if let's say you want to upload a local material like a, a picture or the video, you can click on this upload local material. Or you want to create a dynamic material, you can press this. And then you will be able to select the web page as your material type, or a URL picture, or also a stream media server, or the network server view. And then you just fill in with your uh, name that you want to name it and also be added with the new URL you want to set for this web page to be displayed out. After that, you just select the area you want to display and then you just press the outlook button. Then it will be displayed out inside this material library. So once you have created this material library, so next thing you want to display out the materials. So you can go for this content creation and then multimedia so over here you can be press the add button and then to create a program so you can name it a program uh, by yourself like anything and then you can select the screen size as a landscape or portrait or anything custom and then the shape property you also can be select with a private or public after that you just select with the edit right and then you just press next and then after that, you will need to select the program templates. So over here, you will have a general template and a chain retail, a finance bank template, a commercial building, and embarrassed and so on. So over here, I just select a blank page because I want to add, just add on with my material library, uh, my material inside this uh, program to be displayed out. So I can press the blank page and then I can click OK. Okay, so over here, you just drag and drop the materials to this section. So, all of the materials are inside uh, the lab session tab here. So, if you have a picture, a video, anything that you have been uploaded inside the material lab. So, I just press picture and I just drag and drop the picture I want. And then I can be drag it to be displayed out in the full screen. And then you can be selecting the switching effect as well and also a play time set, uh, play time that you want to be displayed. Alright. And then after that maybe I, I want to add on with more page. So I can click on the add button. And then select another pen page. And I just try and drop another another image I want to display out. And I add on with the third one. Play out for this materials. I just press and drop to the full screen. Alright, and then you can press the preview button that it will be showing out what it looks like after 
it's laid out uh, inside this digital signage box there. So, if we switch to here and then click here. So, once you have satisfied with the result, you can press on this next button. And then over here, you can be playing it in loop or just playing by day, like how many days you want to uh, play on, and also weeks or custom or uh, different schedule. So, I just play in loop because I want to be uh, all the same uh, selection that it is playing out uh, for this digital signage box. So, I just use it and then I just press on the refix. Then, over here, you can be changing the task name. But by default, it will have a task name already. And then you can be selecting the release mode, which currently is selecting with release immediately. So you also can be selecting release after, and then to the uh, release at what time that you'll be uh, setting for. Okay. So I just use release immediately, and the effect also you can be setting on schedule or just immediately. So I just select with the immediately. After that, you can be selecting the device you want to be displayed. So currently, I add my device to this JV area. So I can press the JV and I just press here. So to be selected, the uh, this digital signage box to be displayed to be selected. After that, I just press OK. Then it will be upload the materials to the digital signage box to be displayed out. So here is the result after I upload the materials to the digital signage box. It will based on the content creator just now and then to be displayed out inside this monitor. So this is the end of our video. So if you like it, you can smash the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more content. So thank you for watching. Visco.